Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. And today we're doing a game from K Razor, who's playing Ash. And he's playing with uh, a friend of his who's playing Alistar. I'm not sure if they're on Skype together. I'm pretty sure they're not, actually, because otherwise he would have said so. I'm assuming. Yeah, but uh, most people actually mention it in their emails when they uh, when they are on Skype together. And they are in a well, pretty damage heavy team. This is about 1250 yellow. We see two junglers, which is a good thing because it means that we're actually going to see some real valid gameplay. Uh, so the enemy team uh, also has, well, one tank, uh, although not nearly as good as Alistar. Alistar has a lot of disables. Dr. Mundo has just the stun and that's it. He cannot really fulfill the role as, uh, well, the damage center in the team fights like Ramus can. And he cannot really interrupt anyone from doing damage to his carries. So, yeah, that's the main difference between Alistar and Dr. Mundo. And they both can do pretty good damage overall. Lee Sin, of course, does a lot of damage, and then Jax does a lot of damage. And Anivia does a lot of damage if she's actually any good, but taking that she has a skin probably points to the fact that she might have uh, been played a lot more. Um, for the rest, well, Zillion, kind of the support, uh, his ultimate very useful uh, endgame, because then you can get it up about once every 30 seconds or so with the rewind. I don't know the actual number. Uh, like the minimum you need to get the ultimate back up, but it's really short uh, end game. And um, well, we see uh, Shaco in uh, the purple team here. And I like Shaco on a team because, well, Shaco does a lot of uh, uh, good ganking. And he's a really useful one to have on your team. So we see Ash picking Volley first, which is kind of the standard for uh, for an Ash. And I, of course, am having some lag issues. So hopefully that'll stop. I think it's because I'm actually rendering a video at this moment. But we'll have to see. It shouldn't take too long anyway, uh, too much longer. So we'll have to see if that actually is going to work out for us. And otherwise, I'll have to pause the game and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope it just doesn't count. <laughs> so we see Ash hiding in the bush. Not sure why. Uh, probably trying to uh, protect the blue buff, but it's better to be in this bush then or this. But, yeah, well, I prefer Ash to be in this bush because you can still see most of it. You can get away quite easily through this or this. Uh, roots and um, yeah, the main protector here is going to be Alistar. But yeah, with a Shaco, you always have the risk that the enemy team is going to come in, break your boxes, so kind of move into your boxes and then get out of again. And um, yeah, that way you cannot really do blue anymore. But since Mundo is here. They have a very small chance to be uh, interrupted here. So Ash should go in lane. And she does. So hopefully we'll see some, uh, some nice farming here. It is of course really important on Ash to, uh, to get some good farming going. But this, what she just did, is of course even better. Harassing your opponent out of the lane immediately. I mean, getting him down to only uh, about 200 hit points means that he cannot be aggressive at all because he's going to lose so much life. And there you see, 60 life left. And he now already has to use his healing potions, if he has any. Um, yeah, he does have healing potions, but um, he is probably going to go back. Zillion is not a good mid against Ash, as you can clearly see there. Uh, Ash going for the Doran's Blade, which is basically uh, health and damage. 
I'm not counting the life steal because it really doesn't do anything. It uh, gives you uh, at this moment, let's say 60 damage with 3%, that's 1.8 life. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it is. So it's it's two life per shot. <laughs> Considering that a healing potion does uh, uh, give you uh, 200 health, yeah, you have to fire a hundred shots to uh, to match that, and you're not going to do that anytime soon. So Ash wisely staying away from the bombs, and Zillion already a level behind here because well. He had to go back, and Ash can now pretty much do what he wants. Nobody picked up this uh, this experience. That's kind of surprising. Normally, we see the jungler coming in, the jungler being Lee Sin. But I guess he was uh, busy doing his blue buff or whatever, and uh, not in the neighborhood of this lane. And Ash is trying to use the volley very effectively to harass. Uh, in my opinion doing a little bit too much uh, well damage on the minions so pushing the lane a little bit too much since if you have a very weak opponent opposite you you really don't want to push the lane. You want him to overextend. You want him to be in the middle of the lane because he has to get last hit. So I know it's it's really hard to do that because it takes a lot of uh, well <laughs> patience I would, <laughs> I would have to call it to uh, to let your minions almost die and then shoot them only for the last bit of health but he's doing a decent job and he has to do something because well Zillion is farming with the bombs it's the only way to get near to the minions or well to be able to kill the minions Unless Ash pushes the lane, but yeah, as long as uh, as Ash pushes him back, there's no way he can uh, he can farm. And yeah, he just got one minion from that whole minion wave, I think, because the bombs aren't very reliable uh, for killing the, the whole creep wave. Well, not in the early game anyway. So late game, they will become a lot better, but that's kind of normal. So an excellent dodge on the uh, Q from uh, Lee Sin there. And well, one bomb really isn't going to uh, make the difference here. So now wisely staying back until Lee Sin is going back to his jungle. Uh, the longer he can keep Lee Sin, uh, Sin in his lane, so the, the more he can kind of draw him out and uh, pretend that Lee Sin still has a chance to do some damage. Yeah, now he's gone, so now you can, she can go back into the lane. The longer he can keep Lee Sin in this lane, the more underleveled both uh, this guy, so the Zillion and uh, the Lee Sin are going to get. So we are having some trouble here again with the uh, the frames per second. So this time, as I said, it might be my fault, but I'm not actually sure because I'm not uh, making videos all the time. I am, of course, uploading videos, but that shouldn't make a difference because this game isn't played over the internet. It's all on my computer. Oh, this is getting stupid. Yeah, it keeps hovering between 20 and 30. And for a smooth video, we, we need 30. So, yeah. I really hope that Riot will at some point, very soon, uh, come out with a replay system. Because even though they did an excellent job in providing us with this replay system and providing us with the opportunity to get this community going, so to uh, cast replays, to view each other's replays and to review your own games uh, without it taking up half your uh, hard disk, it's, um, it's just not good enough. For the, for the moment it's good. I mean, it's better than having nothing. But it's not good enough to uh, 
to make a reliable um, yeah, way to, to get these replays to work. So we see the bottom lane being pushed. That's why the Fortify went off. Fortify is, well, in my opinion, one of the more horrible uh, summoner spells in the game. Don't know where the mid went. Uh, it will be good for Ash to actually help out here with the arrow. And yeah, they would have gotten the kill quite easily there. But they do get a kill, so I guess that's good. Yeah, uh, trying to get this kill, but you really need to have the help of the jungler because uh, the arrow is going to stun for only a short uh, while because it's a short range and then you need to have someone do some damage to him as well unless he's like half health like he is now but well good use of the arrow to uh, get the zillion to uh, a lower amount of HP As the lower his HP is, the harder he's going to find it to um, yeah, keep farming, to, to keep in the lane. And, uh, I don't know what Ash is watching, but... And this guy, if he's really that low health, he is going to have some trouble <laughs> staying in the lane. So it's 3 to 4 in kills and uh, Ash so far has been farming up as she should because she is a kind of late game carry. She can get some kills at level 6 or 7 but um, yeah her big advantage over the rest is when she gets a lot of attack speed and attack damage going because then she can be uh, the one that wipes out the whole team especially with her stun and uh, slow. Because the slow obviously helps a lot with uh, keeping people in range. And now we see the Shaco coming in. And now the Crystal Arrow would get a kill. And there we go. Yep, excellent, excellent work. Shaco waiting for the moment that Ash actually hits the arrow. And Ash on her own wouldn't have gotten that kill because of the flash. At least I think it's a flash. Yeah, it, it might have also been a glitch in the replay system. But in this case, it was actually a flash. And um, yeah, the, the Shaco itself wouldn't have gotten the kill either because he, yeah, the Zillion would have just ran away. Especially with his speed boost, it is really hard to, uh, to get Zillion. But as we saw early game, he's not very good as a solo against Ash. Ash had just has too much range, too much damage early game. And is going to lose some of that of course. But um, if fed enough, gets uh, a, a nice amount of damage going. And there's Zillion almost dying because if Ash had the crystal arrow up, he would have taken about three more tower shots and be almost dead. Oh wow, Nivia actually coming in to gank the Ash here. What the hell? So Zillion obviously having his uh, his ultimate up. And uh, Shaco being chased through the whole forest and yeah, doing a good job escaping there and probably going back to jungle now. <laughs> 